The Urban Development Corporation, in association with the Jamaica Information Service, presents Urban School. The Caymanas Estate area has been a development area for the Urban Development Corporation, UDC, since 1986. The property spans the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Catherine, with at least 90% of its lands in St. Catherine. Measuring approximately 10,703 acres, the lands have functioned as a green belt to the thriving centers of Kingston and St. Andrew to the east, Portmore to the south, and Spanish Town to the west. Popular places in the area include the world-famous Caymanas Golf and Country Club. The Caymanas Estate area has seen changes over the years as the UDC continues to facilitate its development with the build-out of major infrastructure. Investments have included housing and road network connecting the north-south leg of Highway 2000. And more recently, the Urban Development Corporation has completed construction of the Caymanas Estate Conveyance Sewage System. This infrastructure has increased the opportunity for further development of the prime real estate property. As you know, sewage disposal is one of the primary um, infrastructure needs for investment prospects. And this is now in place, so it's more attractive to developers um, as they come in, uh, as UDC roll out its development plan for the area. The conveyance sewage system forms part of the Caymanas Estate Development Plan, which outlines a broad built-out model for lands owned by the UDC and private interests. The development plan includes a mixed use of recreational, residential and commercial buildings developed in harmony with the environment. The $624 million project was funded by the UDC from sale of assets. The scope of the project covers 7.4 kilometers of force main pipeline and two lift stations. It also stretches across the Mandela Highway and connects to the Soapberry Wastewater Treatment Plant. Each lift station has an entrapment cage that intercepts debris in the line. These cages are then lifted and emptied to allow for smooth flow of the sewage. The plant is also outfitted with state-of-the-art technology systems and can accommodate a flow of over 200,000 gallons of sewage per day. This transfer system is designed to address the entire development needs at full build-out. And so to ensure smooth operations of the facility, testing was conducted on all pipelines by the chief engineer and his team. It's a milestone for us because the plant is now ready to achieve what it, is, what it was designed for. Uh, we achieved practical completion in November and we have commissioned the plant in December. We are at the stage now where we are about to turn on the system to transfer sewage from the development to the treatment plant in Soberry. The engineers and technical persons worked long and hard to accomplish this goal, but not without a few challenges. The challenges are primarily engineering um, with respect to the, the water table. Um, all the, ins the installation of the pipeline has been below the water table, so that was challenging in terms of the excavation and pipe installation. With the sewage foundation now in place, individual development in the Caymanas area will be able to expand and grow in accordance with the requisite permissions guided by the UDC's master plan for the area. The Urban Development Corporation, making development happen for you. To learn more about the work of the Urban Development Corporation, call 656-8031 or visit their website at udcja.com. You may also follow them on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram or visit their information center on the ground floor Kingston Mall, downtown Kingston. Urban Scope was brought to you by the Urban Development Corporation in association with the Jamaica Information Service.